All right, today we're going over how to uh, raise copper refrigerant lines, all right, uh, with nitrogen, all right? So we're going to be flowing nitrogen through it, not pressurizing it while breathing, but flowing it through it to stop the oxidation process from occurring. We're starting here, and we're flowing down the line, and we're coming back in here, all right? It's going to be coming just like this all the way up and through the system and then all the way back down and out this valve. So we either need to pull the, valve, the Schrader valve out or um, put a hose on this side, all right, where it would have an indent just like this. It would press the Schrader valve in. But since we're going to be brazing on this side, we're going to pull this Schrader out so we don't melt it very important to uh, run this nitrogen through as you're brazing uh, because you end up having all this oxidation and I'm going to show you a pipe I just quickly just brazed here and here's my finger I'm going to go ahead and put it in and you see all this stuff on the on my finger right here it's all shiny it's all flaky you don't want that all in all of your refrigerant piping okay I can go in and get some more right there it's crazy all right so that'll actually stop that from happening. Nitrogen is a dry inert gas, right? And it, and it forces all of the oxygen out of the inside of the lines. You'll still have some oxidation on the outside, but that can just be wiped off, no problem. All right, so what we're going to do here is, uh, first things, we're going to pull this Schrader valve out. So you just get a Schrader valve removal tool, and we're going to pull this out. There is no refrigerant in these lines just so you know they are empty and they're in the process of being brazed in these service valves are front seated and the refrigerants inside the unit presently all right so there's our Schrader valve that we just removed all right and there is our tool that we just used to pull it out with all right now we're going to go ahead and turn our nitrogen tank on it's very important that you have this back first Okay, we're going to turn the tank on, and the first stage regulator looks like it has about 875 PSI, PSIG. All right, we're going to turn this down to under 50 PSI. This nitrogen flow meter actually says 50 PSI on it. So we're going to go ahead and turn that right up to about 50 there, okay? Now, we're going to open this up, and you're going to see this ball rise. I'll have it rise up a little bit for you so you can see that ball. All right, right now, where the ball's at, it's about 25 PSIG. So we're going to get that ball to go down a little lower, and it's going to hover between where it's um, below 5 PSI, but, but uh, above the inlet, okay? So it's right there right now, 3 PSI, okay? So it's flowing this way, flowing up into the system, flowing back out, and right out here. We're going to be brazing this joint right here. So once we get to that point, we're going to go ahead and put our wet rag on. We don't want the service valve to get overheated right here. So we're going to put a, a wet rag right behind the service valve and have it ready to cool it down after we get done brazing. It's important to not get any water inside, inside the service access right here. All right. Uh, because water and refrigerant lines, they mix with um, the oils and they create alcohol and acids. All right, so, but that's why we would run an evacuation. We would run the uh, micron uh, level down to 500 microns with a vacuum pump. All right, so here we go. I'm going to put my, put my gloves on here. And we will start our torch up. All right. All right. We're going to heat the pipe going in first a little bit. Okay, and then we're going to pull back. All right, you see all that gas coming out there now? You don't want to be breathing that in at all. All right. All right. And verify that that's a good joint. You do not want to breathe any of that in. Um, you could use a self-contained breathing apparatus to make sure you don't. Um, where you just got to keep yourself back far enough to where you do not breathe any of that in. That can create phosgene gas if there's refrigerant oil left in the lines.
All right, so I just cooled this down. All right, and now we can go ahead and shut our nitrogen tank down, and we can put our Schrader valve in. So I just shut the tank off, pull this out. And I just allow it to flow out of the meter, and you can see the needles going down. All right, that's that. And then we can back this up for safety for next time. Keep the tank off. All right, and that's that. And you're going to put the Schrader valve back in. Put the Schrader valve back in over here. And we're ready for our pressure test up to uh, the PSI of the evaporator coil design pressure. Anything below that will be fine to pressure test this with now. That's how you do it. Hope you uh, enjoyed yourself and see you next time at AC Service Tech.